Right, Righto, welcome back to the 40 channel. Today we've got some cool stuff going on. Panels. My cab is finally rust free. Very exciting. All these panels come from Kingsley. We're going to show you some of his work and we're going to show you how we replaced all these panels in the rear back, back end of the uh, cruiser. I've got a bit to learn about this 40. Righto, welcome back to the 40 channel. Excited, I get to do a bit of a box unpacking today. This is all the way from Victoria, from a guy named Kingsley. You might have seen some of his stuff on the Facebook stuff. His guy is amazing. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Righto, so as you can see, Kingsley custom makes every single panel, or pretty much every panel you could ever need, for your uh, 40 series Land Cruiser. And uh, his attention to detail is absolutely incredible. Uh, you can probably tell what these parts are for. So you knew that uh, we'd cut all this stuff out. So that will sit just there. So I got in contact with Kingsley spoke to him and over the phone I was able to give him some measurements of where how far I'd cut back and where I needed it to play and from those measurements he custom made my back water panels not here yet but also is coming a full rear back bar but check out some of this this is all custom made by this guy and it is spot on I'm going to show you some of his work. Amazing quality. If you're thinking about replacing a bit of uh, steel on here and it's a little bit of a complex spot or, or you're not even sure how to do any sheet metal, I cannot recommend giving Kingsley a ring and having to chat to him about what you need. Fantastic guy, more than willing to talk to you and share stuff with you and work stuff out with you of what you need and how you need it made. The link will be below and uh, you'll be able to get in contact with Kingsley through Facebook. Anyway, let's have a look at uh, fitting some of these panels up. All right, we have our new panel on. We can see where we've got to mark out to make our cuts. So let's mark that out. Right, I see here's our line that we're gonna cut around. We follow that right line pretty much spot on. Uh, it'll be good, it'll, if we just go just above, it'll give us a little bit of a gap to work with. All right, we've got some spot welds. So we're gonna drill these spot welds out pin punch and a hammer, just find the center of that spot weld. Righto, so you can drill the spot welds out. You'll know that you're through, you'll just see a bit of rust come through, so you know you've made it through to the panel. Righto. Try to break those spot welds away. It's actually coming away very easily. There's a lot of silicon and goo all through this car. So strip a disc, 15 bucks, but well and truly worth it. Strip your paint, rust, everything off. I love these things. I've been using these over the entire cruiser. Right, so we want to fit the panel up for a test fit. Now, as we weld this, we have to work it around very carefully to follow this radius all the way around. As you're tacking a few tacks, we'll pull all 
draw this in, make sure it's all square and straight as it as it comes in. That'll all come up good. Just need to work work with it as we go. Right, eh? so all this stuff here is right on the groove that we want to that we want to weld on, and that'll just burn through and smoke and make a terrible, terrible mess. So we're going to clean all that out first. Right, so we're just going to drill some 6mm holes. These will be where our new spot welds will go. Right, we've cleaned all that as much as we can with our wire wheel. Now, there's still tiny little pitted pit rust in there. So, what we're going to do is we're going to spray some rust converter on here as well. Give it a really good soak. Right, so that's been sitting there for about 15 minutes. Give that a really good clean off. Now, because that uh, will never be able to be sealed with paint, what we're going to do is we're going to spray this with zinc primer. So we've got some zinc guard. And the best stuff about this stuff is, is that it's a weld through primer. So you can actually weld through it. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to spray the inside of this part here. So there's our piece. It's just sitting in, in there at the moment. So what we're going to do is we've got uh, clamps inside, outside, everywhere. So we're going to very carefully just put a few tack welds in some uh, in some spots. Once they're tack weld, we'll move the clamps around. We've got magnets, clamps holding in place. So again, we'll tack weld along this edge, tack weld up on this corner, take the clamps off, and then we'll slowly build up and work around it as we go. Timing couldn't have got any better. Been working on these quarter panels all day, and uh, when I've had some lunch, and the next package is arrived from Kingsley. Right, oh, look at that. That is incredible quality. Man, I am impressed. Full rebar. Brand new rebar, every support, every hole, every nut, it's all in the right places, everything is there. Yeah, that's amazing, that looks beautiful. So this is our back seal. You can see he's done the, the perfect profile all the way through. He's even latched it in where the uh, lock goes. I'll sit up in here. Right, so here's our new piece from Kingsley. Is our old piece that's totally rusted up. Now one thing you will notice is that this piece here is a little bit longer. It's about 20 mil longer than the, uh, the original piece, but that's okay. Because all we need to do is come down 257, measure in 20 mil. We'll just drill a hole, say a 10 mil hole. And we'll cut a slot out of there. I like to drill holes instead of just cutting it out. Gives it less chance to crack or fracture later on. Now the reason that uh, Kingsley tells me he's made this a bit longer is that um, one, it gives a lot more support up under here. So if you've had rust or damage that has it's come right up into your floor, then you're going to get a lot more support out of this. This is a nice thick steel, so it'll be nice and strong under there, give it that support it needs. So. Another good one from Kingsley. So just these little gussets here. So we just make that small little modification, then it'll just fit around that nice and perfectly. I always like to drill my pilot holes first before I jump straight in and do the big hole. 
Now I've got the tube wheel carrier. So these holes are for the uh, the tube wheel carrier. If you've got the flat wheel uh, one, your holes might be in a different spot. So just make sure you look for that. And as always, cross-reference back to your old bar or your damaged pieces. All right, I like to countersink every hole I do. I bolt it on place. That way, you know it's in the exact right spot and it's not going to move. Right, so they're welded in place. Looks good. Let's do a bit of a clean up. No matter how damaged and destroyed your old one is, make sure you keep it because you want to con continually use that as your cross reference. Take measurements off this, double check measurements here, so that you can get everything cut and uh, in the exact right position in the back of the cruiser. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this hole here as my datum point. I was a bit concerned that I cut it in the wrong spot, but it is exactly spot on. I measured twice, I cut it, and then I was doubting myself. It's okay to go back and measure again. Right, okay, so you just want to cut this little piece here out so that uh, our rear seal can sit flush against there and our rear bar can come flush up against the inside of there. Okay, our rear seal. Now we just need to trim off a little bit off both ends. Again, make sure you double check, measure and use your old one as a guide. Right, okay, so there's how I've trimmed it. So after cutting them all to shape, measuring these distances, we now sits in perfect. We're going to prime on the inside, because once it's on there and then we put the rear bar inside, it's less likely to get some paint in there. So if we do it now, it'll uh, save it for later. So I'm going to zinc prime all that, give it a good coating and good protection. This is just our quick test fit. Now you can see why I should have left a tiny piece in that top part there. Right, I had a few days off just uh, welding in that. There's been some total fire bans, so we didn't want to get too involved with that. Crazy winds, some of the worst fire conditions in our state um, in recorded history. So a huge yell out to all the volunteers out there. You firefighters are amazing, great job, thank you. Anyway, uh, so I've just been working on some of my favourite stuff, wiring, still ticking away at that, and um, I just got everything sort of clamped into position and trying to work out how these doors are going to fit, make sure that we've got everything lined up. A uh, big issue with the doors is, and I'm sure this is a big problem with a lot of you guys, is I'll show you. Both hinges are the same. Got some packers up under there. So you can see a lot of movement through here. So uh, that'll be another job, I suppose. We'll strip these hinges down and rebuild them, which is not as easy as um, your bonnet hinges or your door hinges. Of course, I've got so much movement in these, these hinges and the bushes are all flogged out. It's making it quite difficult to try to make sure that I've got everything lined up where it should be. Um, I'm just gonna take a shot in the dark and hope that it looks right so we can tack weld it together and continue fitting in the, uh, the rear seal, the rear bar. So we're just gonna drill these holes, transfer these holes onto the rear seal, weld it into place, then that'll be done, I hope. Clamp the rear back bar, just get a couple of tack welds on the floor here, uh, a couple of tack welds inside.
well. I'm pretty excited at the moment. Besides the wonky doors, this thing is now rust free. You've heard me talk about this shop many times, talking. So I thought I'd uh, show you the place. This place sells everything you need. It's amazing, it's awesome. I'll show you some uh, little clips. But this is it. Toyota badge. Now, it's not genuine, but it is brand new. Top of that, some uh, some King Tony stuff, some notebooks, ruler, and you've heard me talk about Tool King. You're gonna win a $30 Tool King voucher. Now it'll be an e-voucher, so it means that anywhere in Australia can use it. Actually, I think anyone in the world can use it. To win this cool prize package, all you need to do is comment below and um, just say, pick me, I don't know, make something creative up. And uh, I'll do a random number generator or pick one of you guys and you'll win that cool package. Righto, thanks for watching and I really appreciate your support. That's why we're doing a bit of a give back, a bit of a prize to uh, show my appreciation. So subscribe, like, don't forget to comment below and we'll pick a winner out for the next one. You've got... Uh, You've got one week. We'll put the date of the uh, close of the competition below. Good luck.